Welcome to Laffy Time Comedy Show. My name is Lavender Rose. Let's get down to business. Today I have some really funny jokes. They're kind of, um, they're kind of a little, some Bible jokes that I had written. So it's really not for kids and it's really not religious either. Well, let me get started here. First of all, I'd like to talk about Moses and the burning bush. If your bush is burning, that means the girl has... <coughs> Moses parted the Red Sea. The girl was on her... <coughs> and had blood in her... <coughs> All right, that's the end of my Bible jokes. So moving on, Disney. Disney movies. Let me talk about the movie Little Mermaid. Um, so anyway, the Little Mermaid does a song about gadgets and gizmos aplenty. We know exactly what that song was about. There was there was no, there was nothing to hide from that song to keep it not inappropriate because if you think about it gasmos and gizmos and gadgets are plenty I can't even I can't even say that right I keep messing up anyway we all know that Ariel was talking about because she didn't have a man in her life well, we all we all realized as adults that 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 um thing was all about you know mechanical devices and going on there. Uh, I was listening to that song as an adult going, "What the f is that?" I was like, "That's really inappropriate." For children so we're done with that we've already we've already discussed that what else is there tooth fairy tooth fairy let's talk about let's talk about the tooth fairy and exactly what's happening here first of all we're teaching our kids to <coughs> with our <coughs> parents because when we have kids around we have um we have parents bartering with our trying to make a business out of tooth fairy and so anyway i'll give you a quarter if you leave if you put your teeth under the pillow and and um so your kids leave a tooth under their pillow and they get money what the is up with that well anyway it's like a business that parents have with their children I'll just go over and find the biggest kid with the biggest teeth and knock his teeth down his throat and get a million dollars Parents are talking about, well, you can put the teeth under your pillow. So if I kill this kid and I um take all his teeth out of his mouth, does that mean I get a quarter for every tooth? Well, maybe I'll go around the neighborhood and start knocking teeth out of kids' mouths and I get a million dollars. Yeah, break. What the f Uh, okay, so let's see. Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, and all that stuff. 
Minnie Mouse is great. I have to give props to Minnie Mouse. She's Mickey Mouse's girlfriend. I um, loved Mickey as a kid, so I have to give props to Mickey. Goofy. Goofy is just a pile of... Pile of... But, uh, Go Goofy is cool. He's like... Goofy's dope, like, he's not all there, but he's there in a weird way that was, like, he's funny. He's generally funny, that's what I like about him. It's almost like he's high, but then again, he's down to earth. That's what, that's what really makes him cool. Now, of course, we're moving on to Winnie the Pooh. Pooh Bear is always happy and go lucky and all that. All that. And, and I, I just like Pooh because of his positive attitude with everything. I like Piglet too. He's the little guy. Always chicken about everything. But he's funny. And his I feel really bad about Piglet's obsession with being afraid of heffalumps, which I guess is some kind of weird elephant. I don't know. And Tigger, I like Tigger. Tigger just runs around like he's on some kind of cracked out medicine. I don't know, I just don't understand him jumping on his tail and stuff. He just, he just runs around there like he's on smacking. It's nuts. Alright, Ru and Kanga, they have a wonderful mother-son relationship. Uh, I wouldn't mess with that, I wouldn't say nothing about bad about that <clears throat> I say positive things but ruin Kanga's relationship because I have a similar relationship with my mother so I'm not going to say anything bad about that now another thing is uh, Eeyore and Eeyore is depressed he's a depressing character I don't know why he was ever a uh, why he was ever a children's character to begin with. Because, um, it's just, that whole thing with, um, Eeyore just confuses the out of me. It really does. He's like, he's like, so depressed. Like, he's about ready to put a nail on his head. And it's just like, I feel so sad watching him. He just makes me want to cry sometimes with the way he, he's just so depressed. He needs a doctor. And then Rabbit's running around like he's going to kill a bunch of people and start a mass shootout if he had a carrot launcher. It's just... Rabbit's always mad. Rabbit's never happy. And Pooh Bear tries to sit there and make him happy. And Rabbit's such a pain in the... That he doesn't even want to be happy. So you got, so you got a mother and son who are happy. You got, a, you got a tiger on crack that's too happy. You got a... You got a... Uh, Donkeys who's about ready to shoot himself. You got you got Pooh Bear who's who's happy happier than a month all the time. And you and you got Rabbit who's running around feeling like he needs to kill all this mother. Alright. So that is the end of the show. This has been the Laffy Time Comedy Show with Lavender Rose.
Good night. And remember, if you ain't telling a joke, you ain't funny. And nobody's laughing. Good night.